Okay, so we get that 1 is equals to A. So, ito yung value ng A. Anong agad tayong A. Then, next is, quit natin yung sa x raised to 1, o x. Okay, so yun dito sa left side, ang x natin is negative 3, is equals to negative 2A plus B. Then, nakuha natin doon sa first natin na uh, inequate na si A daw is equals to 1. So, negative 3 is equals to negative 2 times 1 plus B. Simplify, so negative 3 is equals to negative 2 plus B, where B is equals to negative 1. Okay? Last is to equate the constant. So, yung sa constant natin, x raised to 0, equals just a 1, is equals to a minus b plus c. Substitute lang natin mga values. So, 1 is equals to 1 minus negative 1 plus c. So, 1 is equals to 2 plus c, where c is equals to negative 1. Okay? So, yan. So, ito yung value ng ABC natin. So, kung ibabalik natin dun sa original natin na form, ito, kanina. So, substitute lang natin yung values. So, ang x squared minus 3x plus 1 natin all over x minus 1 cubed can be decomposed as 1 all over x minus 1 plus yung b natin is negative 1 over x minus 1 squared na yun yung c natin is negative 1 all over x minus 1 cube okay simplify so we have 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x minus minus 1 squared minus 1 over x minus 1 cube okay so ito na yung sa substitute natin dito sa original natin so, balik tayo dun sa i-integrate natin. Okay. So, ito will be equivalent sa so 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1 squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 cube dx. Okay. And i ano lang natin each term distribute natin. So we have dx over x minus 1 minus dx all over x minus 1 squared minus dx all over x minus 1 cube. Okay. So yung pagkakaiba iba ng tatlo. So yung first term natin uh, is by yung special rule ng power formula which is ln then yung pangalwa is yung power formula na uh, ang value ng exponent natin is greater than 1 okay ibig sabihin yung first term natin will be ln x minus 1 then yung second one natin magiging siyang x minus 1 negative 2 dx minus x minus 1 negative 3 dx plus C. Pag sinimplify ln x minus 1 minus ito pag inintag UDU natin is x minus 1 negative 2 plus 1 all over negative 2 plus 1 minus uh, x minus 1 negative 3 plus 1 all over negative 3 plus 1 plus C. ln x minus 1 then ito magiging negative 1 times negative so positive Kasi ito, it's negative 1. So, mga pupunta sa ilalim. So, 1 over uh, x minus 1. And ito, negative 2. So, magiging positive. Then, 1 over 2 times x minus 1 squared plus c. Okay? So, this will be your final answer. Okay? Okay? 
Let's proceed. So, next example. So, this will be the last example for case number 2. Okay. So, we have integration of dx all over ex times ex minus 1. Okay. So, paano to? Hmm. Okay. So, pag may mga gantong exponential form, what we can do is to um, mag-algebraic manipulation tayo. So, let natin sabi natin isang variable equals to ex. So, tapos gamitin natin si y. So, gamitin natin na y is equals to ex. Okay? And pag ginawa natin yung derivative nito, will be dy is equals to ex dx. Okay? And pag ginawa natin yung value na dx, dx is equals to dy over e raised to x. And e raised to x as first na in natin is equals to dy all over y. Okay? Meron tayong yan. Substitute natin dito. So, dx natin is dy over y. Multiplied by 1 over Yung ex natin is y Times y minus 1 Okay So pag sinimplify natin to This will be dy all over Y squared times y minus 1 Okay So ang papansin nyo dito sa given natin um, Fraction So ngayon Yung Ano natin is meron tayong dalawang repeated tapos meron tayong isang uh, linear factor na iba dun sa nasa unahan niya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong tatlong linear factors. Okay? So, pag kinuha natin yung fraction lang, okay ko dito. So, 1 over y squared times y minus 1. Okay? Tapos pag kinuha ko yung terms ng decomposition niya, it will be a over y plus b over y squared plus c all over y minus 1. Okay? So, itong first two na to, galing dun sa original na definition ng case number 2 para sa a x plus b k. So, ito yun. Itong dalawang to. Okay? Then, yung isa is galing dun sa case 1 natin. So, parang combination siya kung magiging ano tayo, technical tayo. Okay? So, ito yung magiging form natin ngayon. So, what we can do is to multiply both sides of the equation by the common factor. So, ito. So, y squared times y minus 1. Okay? Pag multiply natin yun, so, this will be 1 is equals to ito, ma-eliminate yung isang y so a times y times y minus 1 plus b times y minus 1 plus c y squared okay okay so again, kunin natin yung values ng a, b, and c so, so ngayon Diba nagamit na natin sa example number 3 yung uh, equating ng coefficient. Try natin ngayon yung assigning ng strategic value for x. Okay. So, yan. So, meron tayo ditong tatlong terms. So, para makakuha tayo ng value. Pag hambawa, ginawa kong 0 si y. So, pag 0 si y, ito will be 0. Ito will be 0 kasi ito. So, pwede si 0. y is equals to 0. So, again, yung pag-substitute o pag-identify kung ano yung value na isa-substitute is nakadepende dun sa nagsasolve, sa knowledge nyo dun sa given equation. Okay? So, 1 is equals to a times 0, 0 minus 1, plus b times 0 minus 1, plus c times 0 squared. Okay? So, this term will be 0. This will be 0. So, that is 1 is equals to negative b or b is equals to negative 1 so meron tayong value for b next if y is equals to 1 
magiging 0 itong dalawang term na ito. Okay? So, y is equals to 1. So, we have 1 is equals to a times 1 times 1 minus 1 plus b times 1 minus 1 plus c times 1 squared. Okay? So, ito will be 0. Ito will be 0. So, matitira is c is equals to 1. Okay? Next. Ano pang value yung pwede? Okay? So, at this point, kahit anong value yung i-assume natin, uh, magiging ano na lang natin na si A kasi meron tayong value ni B at ni C. Okay? So, pwede tayong mag-assume ng any value ni Y. So, mas maganda, mas maliit lang yung i-assume nyo para hindi na kayo lumayo dun sa value natin. So, try natin si y is equals to matayon natin negative 1 negative 1 okay so 1 is equals to a times negative 1 times negative 1 negative 1 plus b negative 1 negative 1 plus c negative 1 squared okay simplify so 1 is equals to negative 1 negative 1 is negative 2 times negative 1 so we have positive 2a so, negative 1, negative 1 is negative 2. So, negative 2b plus negative 1 quantity squared is 1 plus c. Then, substitute natin yung value ni b and c. So, 1 is equal to 2a minus 2 times negative 1 plus 1. Simplify. So, 1 is equal to 2a. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 plus 1. We have 1 is equal to 2a plus 3. Then, a transpose natin, we have negative 2 is equals to 2a, so si a daw is equals to negative 1 okay pagplato na yung value natin for a, b, and c so ibig sabihin yung original equation natin so dito ko nang lalagay so yung 1 over y squared times y minus 1 natin will be negative 1 over y plus negative 1 all over y squared plus 1 over y minus 1. Simplify natin. So, negative 1 over y minus 1 over y squared plus 1 over y minus 1. Okay. So, substitute natin pabalik dito. Okay. So, we have Negative 1 over y minus 1 over y squared plus 1 over y minus 1 dy. Okay. Simplify natin. So we have negative dy over y minus dy over y squared minus um, dy over y minus 1 okay so yung first and third term will be natural uh, ln then yung second term natin will be power formula okay so we have negative ln of y minus ito will be y negative 2 dy minus, ito ay ln y minus 1 plus c. Okay? So, yung second term. Negative ln y minus y negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 minus ln y minus 1 plus c. Then, simplify to a negative ln y so, will be negative 1 times negative 1. So, positive 1 over y minus ln y minus 1 plus c. Okay. Ito yung given equation natin. So, substitute natin yung value ng y. Again, yung y natin from dito is a raised to x. 
So, negative ln ex okay, plus 1 over ex minus ln ex minus 1 plus c. Okay, simplify natin to. ln of e is raised to x is kung ano yung nandun sa exponent niya. So, ito is pwede mapunta doon. So, this, the first term will be negative x. Then, ito, e raised to x, pwede natin ilagay sa taas. So, e is to negative x minus ln e x minus 1 plus c. Okay? So, this will be your final answer. Okay? So, yan. So, yun yung summary ng um, case 1 and case 2. So, if you have any question regarding these two topics, so please do. Uh, pwede kayong mag-comment sa GC or sa LMS. No? Pwede kayong mag-comment dun. Then, for your assignment, um, since two exercises to, so, so I'll expect you to, to solve exercises um, 5.1 and 5.2. Okay? So, ito yung assignment. Okay? Exercises 5.1, 5.2. So, mangyayari mag... Uh, gagawa ako ng dropbox para kung saan nyo isesend yung um, scan or picture ng solution nyo para dun sa 5.1 and 5.2. Then, yung hard copy will be submitted kapag uh, nag-resume na yung classes natin. Okay? So, yung items para sa 5.1 and 5.2 is the same na sinosolve nyo before. Yung sa add and even and letter N, letter B na uh, naka-assign sa section nyo. Okay? So, thank you for listening.